We are about to meet Chef Nigel Jones, who's been a champion for Jamaican cuisine right here in Oakland. We'll be meeting him at his first spot, Kingston 11, but then we're gonna take a ride over the bridge and he's gonna show me his new spot, Kaya, which is taking Jamaican cuisine to the next level. Kaya was a unique opportunity. Daniel Patterson has a number of restaurants in San Francisco and Oakland. His desire to open some opportunities for people of color to get into the fine dining industry. And knowing that there is a void for my type of cuisine, he approached me yeah. and so we discuss the opportunity and we embark on that relationship. We're gonna do the classic Jamaican um, breakfast, aki and saltfish. Everybody grows up eating saltfish. Yes, so we'll start by making some dumplings. The dough here is flour, oil, a pinch of salt, bacon powder, roll it up. So when I think of dumplings, I'm thinking of it being filled with meat and all yeah. of that. Not in Jamaica though. We use dumplings as like a bread. Okay. It's like a fry bread. So you remember doing this back home yes. with, with grandmother? And my grandmother would make certain dishes okay. and I would um, complain. And she says, if you're gonna complain about my cooking, you better learn how to cook yourself. <laughs> my mother was 15 years old when she had me. I was an only child. My father was also around the same age. He left Jamaica and went to England, migrated there. My mother left Jamaica and moved to the United States. So I grew okay. up with my grandmother. One of the things that I love about cooking uh, in Jamaica, everybody cook. And what we would do is something similar to what you would call a potluck here. Okay. But instead we call it uh, running a boat. Potluck is something where everybody cooks and brings something to the event. But this, you bring whatever you had and we cook it together. Oh, you, you know, run the I, boat. You run the boat. You always had that boy that Come on, you're bringing just rice again? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. But he's gonna eat everything, you know? Johnny bringing the rice again. Meantime, we're gonna start with the Aki on saltfish. This is our national dish. Aki actually comes from West Africa. Okay. And it's a fruit that we cook in a savory way. The saltfish is a very interesting role it plays in the Jamaican culture. Back in the days, there was not refrigeration. So they would use salt and pack meats with salt to preserve it. What is this made out of usually? It's just cod. cod. It's cod it's fish. Just... So I'm going to add a little bit of tomatoes. We're going to add some of the aki to it. So it's going to start looking a little bit like scrambled eggs. Yeah. So the seasoning here is salt, allspice, which in Jamaica is pimento, that's the berries, garlic, and some paprika. It smells very Filipino to me, yeah. chef. With, yeah. the, with the garlic and yeah. onions. Yeah. You know, Jamaican food, as I taste it, people associate with island life. What is this step taking it yeah. into, you know, fine dining? If you have amazing food, why shouldn't it be shared in different social economic settings yeah. and backgrounds? If you are a certain class and yeah. live in a certain area, maybe you never had it. One of the things I love about Jamaican food is that everybody eats the same thing, from the prime minister oh, right. down to the little guy on the street. You know, if you look in our dining room, it's packed with people from all different backgrounds, and they're eating the same food as a working person in Jamaica eating. Mm -hmm. I think that's beautiful. The dumplings, yes. which is like a flatbread. Fried, yeah, fried dumplings. Mm. That salt fish like that reminds me of Filipino foods. Yeah, and then you have the spices coming through. Well, what's the evolution of Kingston 11 to Kaya yeah. as far as the food goes? There is a, a tight bond in terms of what we're doing there and what we're doing here. The recipe is the same. The jerk chicken, the oxtail, same recipes. Over here, we add a few new items, such as the black pepper crab. We want to make sure that we stay true to the original intent, and the presentation is part of that. This is Dungeness crab. Ginger, sweet soy sauce, lots of black pepper. You encourage everyone to kind of just dig just in. Just dip in. Like we're, we're in our backyard eating crab. We want to get our hands dirty on this dish right yeah. here. The spices balance perfect with that sweetness of the soy. Yes. You get the ginger in the background of it. And the Thai chili pepper with the little kick here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a perfect amount of heat that, that makes you sit up, but makes you go right back yeah. in for another bite. Oh, I love it. So what I find myself doing in Oakland, people who are not as experienced, give them the chance 
if they show the, the level of commitment to be trained and create the next wave of servers, bartenders, line cooks, and potential sous chefs and head cooks. And that's what it means to be a black chef and a black owner is to keep opening that door for other folks. Yeah, all my workers are kids of the community. Yeah that are afraid to a lot of times just speak up to you. Yeah. I think they're raised to be so humble, and I love being an example for those guys that, you no, know, you can get out there and put your head down and work. Yeah, the high level in which you are working and operating, it's a major inspiration for, you know, folks in your community. Yeah. Coming into San Francisco and no recent history, the migration of a lot of the black community out leaving San Francisco, I would expand that to say Latinos, Asian, yeah. Americans, or even white folks of not high economic means. They cannot make ends meet here in San Francisco. Yeah. But I think we can act locally and start putting things back together. And food is a vehicle for that. These have been cured for the last two days. So now we're going to take some of these onions okay. and we're going to start to layer them 